it's back to the DIY issues now. Um, I noticed a few days ago that there were some damp spots uh, coming up the cabinet in the bathroom. I say cabinet, I'll show you in a minute. If you remember when I did the bathroom floor, it's just a wooden box. Um, and as you can probably tell from the windows, it's night. I always end up like getting to these things quite late on. I think I put them off and put them off and kind of sit in denial for a while and then because uh, I was talking about it today, um, it's like nine o'clock now and I thought, oh, I've got, got to do something about that. Uh, so I'll show you what I mean. So here we are in the bathroom uh, and ignore the scabby cloths. I've got them on the floor to protect the floor because um, it's because I've got the fire on. It's just ash everywhere and I just keep traipsing it into the bathroom and it's ruining, it's ruining my lovely floor, as you can see here. Um, so I've got these cloths down to protect the floor. But... If we have a look under here, I noticed um, this like damp spot coming through here. So I pulled the floor back and it looks quite dark on the video. Um, so I noticed that there, I've got this propped to prop the flooring up. And I noticed this damp spot here and I thought, oh crap, what's leaking? Um, and I thought maybe it's some condensation coming through like behind the panelling on the metal and it's dripping down. But then what's this coming from? And it is a bit of a mess in here, but there's always been a mess on the floor. Um, I should have brought a light with me. Stupid, wasn't it? Um, in fact, let me go and get a light for you. Okay, that's better. So, there's always been this mess in here. and But it's been dry. And I thought it was because uh, when I got the boat, the um, there was a bottle of, um, oh, what's it called, you know, toilet fluid that had leaked. And I thought that had rotted the floor, but to be honest, looking at that, it does look a bit worse. Um, but it feels dry in there, but now there's this, this is obviously getting worse in here. I'm not sure what to do about it. Um, so, I kind of just pulled the floor back and I thought, oh, well, if it's condensation, it'll dry out, right? Um, but I went away for a couple of days, and when I came back, they'd completely dried out but I've been back two days and of course the water pump's been on and it's wet again. So I'm thinking there's a leak. <laughs> there's a leak from somewhere and I don't know where. And I thought, oh great, am I gonna have to start pulling up the floor? And tonight, look what I found. I found a little access bit. Now, this had a plug on it and I basically just pulled the plug, little plug out, it took me a while. And it's, I don't think you'd be able to see, but it's dry in there, so if there's a leak, it's not a big one, thank God. And of course the water pump's not actually running, so I knew it couldn't be a huge leak. I worried maybe it was from the shower, um, and it still might be. But I don't really want to start drilling holes anywhere and cutting holes in case I put blade through a pipe. I don't know where the pipes go. I know the sink pipes go in the wall here, and there's a pipe there i have no idea what that does or where it goes it looks empty actually hmm oh man boats honestly constant work constant damp oh, fun and games enjoys a boat in eh so yeah <laughs> not sure what i'm gonna do about that um it might be a case of watching and waiting but to be honest I'm getting like more and more anxious about it and I spend more and more time thinking about it so I'm gonna have to do something so at least I've pulled that little wooden plug out um, and seen that yeah the, the floor is not full of water so that's reassuring but I'm gonna have to I might take the panelling off the wall actually that might be easier and just have a look behind see if I can see any water kind of dripping down what I might do is turn the water pump off during the day and just turn it on when I want to use the sink um, and kind of just uh, see if it dries out while I'm here and then I can, um, you know, process of elimination. Through careful experimentation, I have found that it's definitely fresh water. So when I run um, the water pump, um, 
this comes through if the water pump is off it doesn't and it's nothing to do with pouring water through the tap so any grey water if I don't use this sink but still have the water pump on uh, the damp patches come back so it's definitely the fresh water and it's nothing to do with the shower because um like the water grey water coming out of the shower because although it's worse now I had a shower this morning and this patch is obviously a lot worse it's it's definitely because the amount of water coming through the pump rather than grey water from the shower because um it dries up after I've had a shower like if I you know turn the water pump off now for a couple of days it'll dry up so god this looks so much worse on camera it's bizarre it doesn't look this dark in person anyway so I'm going to try and get this panelling off the bathroom side of the bathroom here so this will be fun so we've got some pins in the top so I'm basically going to try and get them out and take the side off and hopefully see there's some more panelling in there I'm hoping that that panelling is not behind this panelling and I'm just going to have panel after panel after panel because um, I'm pretty sure the pipes come along behind here because they come in you can't see it through here but on the other side I'm pretty sure they do come in along the wall um, like towards the floor or at least under the bed they do let's go have a look pipes come under the bed from the water pump they come uh, the lights here is terrible they come through here they go through here through, and then there you go Whoa. they go oh dear there there they are um i don't doesn't look like there's any damp or water in there it's really hard to see I don't particularly want to stick my hand in there because it's <laughs> full of spider web. I'm sorry, this video is terrible because I'm paying attention to what I'm doing. There's water up there, but I don't think that's damp. I think I've had my hands on that before. Uh... Oh, can we have a look? Yeah, I think that's all actually in reality dry. So I'm just going to stick my hand in there and see if oh my god see if the floor's wet down there okay the answer is no it's uh dry perfectly dry all the pipes are dry the floor's dry so the pipes go in at the bottom and i'm thinking they must go straight through to the bathroom uh what about these pipes up here so this pipe goes to the sink i think there's only one going that way though See that white, the white pipe, I'm sorry, I really can't get a better angle. That white pipe on the left hand side there um, goes from the hot water tank to the bathroom. And that comes in about tap level, which is where I suspect the um, water to the tap's coming from. But it could also be going to the shower. But no, wait, that's got to be the inlet. To oh, God, my plumbing skills are not very good. My brother's a plumber. I should know this. I think I did know this. <laughs> anyway um and then there's you know inlet and outlets here uh this is clearly well i say clearly i think this is inlet these two because it looks like you can't see on the camera but it looks like they're coming from behind me which is so by the bed and then this down here goes to the right i think so let's go have a look again in the bathroom it's like a uh, treasure hunt of pipes isn't it this is the most complicated thing I've done on the boat so far and I haven't even done anything yet. Um, wait, mm, that cabinet, that bookcase was actually pretty complex, but I didn't have a leak to find. So, you know, it was annoying, but in theory, I didn't have to do it. Whereas this job I kind of have to do. Right, right, back in the bathroom. So we've got two taps here, sorry, two pipes, uh, hot and cold. Uh, both the wrong one, by the way. The setup set up wrong. So basically, when you pull the tap towards you, it should be hot, cold and it's hot. So that's fun, right? So two taps, two pipes coming in here. One of which is definitely. Oh look, I can see extra. I can't see that in reality. Oh, that's the old pump out. Can you see the end of it? Oh, I don't think you can. But that's the old pump out. That blue one, sanitary thing. Um. So these two come from the boiler, but then those taps on the floor, where do they go? 
it must be behind this panelling got to be and that's probably where all these wet marks come from um now there definitely was an old leak because as i said said to you earlier this floor was a mess when i got it but it was all dry and obviously there's now a new leak um possibly a couple because there's a leak here and then a problem here anyway let's see what we can do Not really sure how to do this. I'm using a hole punch at the moment. Um, and I have a pair of needle nose pliers as well. Be a bit of trial and error, I think. Ha <laughs> Huh, okay, well it looks like there's this stuff behind it. This is why there's holes and um, more holes. Well, this doesn't help me at all. Um, it's damp on the floor. I'm going to get the light. So, yeah. And I can't see where it's coming from still. I can't see anything through these holes. Just like a white, kind of a white cable in there. Can't see it. Like a flat white cable. Electrics. Uh, so yeah, so I'm probably going to have to cut a hole in the floor, possibly take this cupboard off so I can get under here and yeah, be brave and cut into the floor, which is really not what I wanted to do because I don't know what's under there. Um, yeah, okay, I'm going to clean up this mess and have a think about it for a minute. So I've kind of given up for tonight because I'm going to need some cutting tools. Um, I'm going to need to cut the wall, I think. Possibly the wall and floor, so I'll show you what I mean. So, damp patches here. Well, you can clearly see it. Um, so, what I'm going to do is either cut from here down, and because it's so big, I can see that there's no cables, you know, immediately beyond. So, I'll have to kind of cut down, checking as I go, to get to the, behind this panel and just have a look what's under the floor and then probably cut the floor as well. So either go from here um, or probably, now I know how deep that floor is, cut some access holes, not quite through the wood and then kind of chisel through the, um, the bottom or just peel it back and break the wood so that I'm definitely not cutting through anything. Um, it's probably going to have to pull up the, this floor, which is really annoying because I have to take the side off the, the shower and take this off um, so that I can pull this back and get under the floor. So really annoying. Um, but we'll start with the wall and see. Uh, but yeah, this is not the best news. Um, yeah, <laughs> that's, that's really only, that's really all I can say is it's not the best news. So I'll have to borrow uh, some kit from my dad. Uh, so watch this space and I'll, um, yeah. I'll video again when I've got some tools. Okay, so just chatted to my dad and he's got several tools that might do the job. So I'll pop round to his tomorrow, have a look and bring them back. So yeah, maybe tomorrow I can dig some exploratory holes. I could do with a panel in the floor anyway, um, as you know, as a cabin build check, because I only have one access panel at the very back of the boat. Uh, I don't think I've got any more unless they're hidden underneath the flooring, but then they're not really access panels, are they? They're kind of hidden secret panels. Uh, so one in the bathroom will be handy um, to check things like this, you know, to check if, if a leak is, uh, well, a wet patch is a, is a problematic leak or if it's just a wet patch. <laughs>
of course a wet patch is still problematic anyway um so yeah so it'd be good if i could cut uh, an access panel anyway but of course not really knowing what's under the floor and how clear how deep the clearance is um before the ballast and uh, other panels is a bit yeah so we'll see we'll wing it a little bit and see what we can do